Hi, this is Megan with Beta Holic, and today I'm going to show you how to make a hook and bar clasp using craft wire. So this bracelet has the clasp on it that I'm going to show you how to make. You can see that this side has the little bar just connected with jump rings, and this side has this wide hook. And you could use this similar process to make a narrow hook and eye. I'm just going to show you how to do it a little bit wider for when you're doing a wider bracelet. But if you just made it narrow, it would be almost the same process exactly. And we do have another video on how to make this bracelet link. And there will be a project on the Beta Holly free beading project uh, bracelet section on how to do the whole thing. So if you or wanting to, for, to uh, learn how to do that bracelet, you can check there for that. Okay, so what we're gonna need is some 18 gauge craft wire. And then we'll need flush cutters, round nose pliers. I'm using a Wubbers bail making pliers. And then I ha always wanna have nylon jaw pliers for straightening out my wire. Let's go ahead and cut some wire. I'm going to cut one piece about six or seven inches long and one piece about four or five inches long. And to straighten your wire, you can use your round nose pliers to make a loop at the end to hold on to, or you can just use a pair of chain nose pliers to hold on to your wire. And you always wanna use nylon jaw pliers to straighten out your wire. Okay. So in this clasp, we'll go ahead and start with the hook end. And I'm gonna use my longer piece of wire and you can see that I have definite bends here at the corners, but they're not a hard corner. I used round nose pliers to make that instead of using a chain nose plier. So I'm going to start a, just a little bit over from the center and I'm going to put my wire pretty close to the, to the tip of your round nose so that it is a pretty good solid corner, but it won't get a hard bend on it because you're using the round nose pliers. So go ahead and bring it in a little bit more than at a right angle. And then they actually come in a little bit. I have it do that shape so that it sits comfortably inside here, but that it won't slide out. So just go ahead and take your round nose pliers, put them into the corner and pull it back a little bit so that you push in and push out and get that kind of a gradual increase right here so that it kind of goes down and dips down at the end. And then decide how wide you want your bar to be. And just do the same thing on the other side there. And you can make this as narrow or wide as you want what's going to make the difference is making sure that you make both pieces to fit each other. Okay, so got your tip of your hook right there, your hook bar. Now you're going to use your Wubbers and I have the medium size here and I'm going to use the smaller side. And what I'm going to do is get this nice even fold in my hook. So I'm going to take the hook and I'm going to put it so that just about an eighth of an inch is sticking up above. And then I'm going to fold it around the smaller side of the Wubbers. And you can kind of straighten it out after you get it. It will have a nice even bend here. You just need to straighten the ends. Okay, and now you can see it's almost done. All we need to do is make the loops that attach your clasp to your piece of jewelry. So all I'm going to do is 
take my round nose pliers and I'm going to grab the clasp just a bit past the bottom of the hook and maybe about a quarter of an inch down the plier and then just bend the excess wire all the way around. Take your flush cutters, trim that off. Take your nylon jaw pliers and just squeeze so that it lays flat and just repeat the same thing on the other side. If it opens up a little bit when you flatten it out, just squish it back closed. Okay, so that's your hook. And then we need to make the bar, and we want to make sure that it fits with the hook. So you're going to take your other piece of wire that you already straightened, and near to the center, but just off to one side, you're going to make a nice right angle bend with your round nose pliers. Your clasp will sit like this in here and so you think that you want to bend it here but you want to actually make sure that it's going to be big enough to fit the wider part at the tip. So you want to make it just a tiny bit bigger than the wider part. It's okay if it's not a lot bigger because you can put it in at an angle and that will keep it more secure but just a little bit bigger so you know just take a measurement bend it try it this is kind of big so I'm actually going to make it smaller and that's fine you can do trial and error and you can adjust it and I'm just going to use nylon jaw pliers to straighten that back out a little bit. That'll get some that'll be a trial and error that you've got a lot easier once you've done it a few times. But you can go ahead and say like that's a pretty good fit. You just want to make sure if it's shallow that it's going to be big enough to get in there. You won't have a lot of room for making it fit. So just work with it until it seems like it's a nice fit. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. So now all you're gonna do is make the loops to connect your bar. It's again, really easy. Just grab it with your round nose pliers and you wanna start a little bit down from the end so that it's not completely shallow. You wanna give a little bit of room for the actual bar and then just wrap the wire around your round nose pliers. And trim it with your flush cutters and flatten that out and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then one thing that you can do, once you have your pieces and you have them exactly the shape that you want, you can make sure that they work, of course, that they fit together. And that's what your clasp will look like. One way to harden your wire a little bit and make these a little bit more secure is to just take your nylon jaw pliers and just squish it over and over and over and over. And the nylon jaws aren't going to damage the wire. They're not going to flatten this like if you hammered it. They're not really gonna change the look, but that compression on there is going to, to harden the wire a little bit, just to make it a little bit more durable. And it doesn't take that much. So go ahead and do that on the whole bar, and you can do it on the parts of the hook that you can get it and it's not a really flimsy gauge of wire so it's not going to like fall flat when you use it otherwise but it does help a little bit and that's how 
you make a hook and bar and you could do the same thing with a narrow set to make a hook and eye out of craft wire.